Well, back in October, we uh, had our foot in the door at FAO Schwartz, and we were ready to take off. We were sharing all of our information as far as SKU numbers and so forth. Um, but in October, that's when everything started to happen with the economy, and they put things to a halt. And so we didn't hear from them for a little while, and um, finally I made a phone call and they said, well, we are reviewing all of our products that we have in store right now, and then we're going to look at new products to bring in. So that was in October. Um, they just hired a new CEO last week, and I spoke with that Bayo Schwartz, and they said, get back in touch with us in April, and we'll review uh, Super U once again. So there I had my foot in the door, and now I have to work on getting that foot back in the door all over again. The good news again. is tomorrow is April. Uh, yeah, it's <laughs> April Fool's Day. It's me. <laughs> now, how do you prevent a business like yours from having its main concept from being copied or essentially stolen by competitors? And, and take a moment to explain to people how your business helps create costumes for children. Uh, well, about five years ago, my oldest son, who was four at the time, was so aggravated because Superman and Spider-Man didn't fit him anymore. And I said, Michael, go sit down and draw me a picture of your own superhero and I'll make it for you. And about 15 minutes later, he came back with three different drawings of three different costumes that he wanted me to make for him. And I thought, what a wonderful idea if every child could have the opportunity to build their own superhero costume. So my husband came home and I, I brought this idea to him and he actually said to me, it sounds great, but I need you to write me a business plan. <laughs> I have my undergraduate degree in communications and news broadcasting and my master's in education and I did not know what a business plan looked like. So through educating myself on writing the business plan, I learned about the business as I went along. I brought it to my husband's attention about six to eight months later. He approved it, and then, um, and then we, we continued with what we had to do. Um, as far as saving who we are, I did come up with the concept of Super You and how the identities can be interchangeable. Um, that took a lot of work on my part, but there's no real way of saving that and just making it our own. We did trademark Super U, so that's our registered mark, but as far as saving the costume and, and what it looks like, we have to take our chances, stay true to Super U, stay who to, true to who we are, and uh, just keep our name out there, keep ourselves alive. But it's a great idea. Everyone should go to superu.com and order their little one as superu. <laughs>